This is a 17-year-old red-tailed hawk, which is, of course, the largest and most common of the hawks here. And <laughs> she's been with us since she was a, almost a chick. She came to us from a rehabber who had found her on the side of the road as a chick and had raised her. And as you know, that most times with birds of prey, it's very hard to release them in the wild without a foster parent or their original parents or a very strictly controlled setting where they're not seeing a lot of humans. She doesn't, she's heavily imprinted and does not have the capability of being released in the world. This is actually our oldest living animal that we have here. How old? 26. This is our book. Well, you can get them up to 35 years in captivity. Now this would, she's way older than a wild one would be. Captivity, what would, or uh, in wild, how long would it be average? Uh, 15 years, 10, 15 years. Mm -hmm. Depends on how good they are in catching stuff and how lucky they are. But this is the most common owl that we have here. They call it the barred owl because of the stripes here on her belly. <laughs> See those down there? <laughs> but some people call them the hoot owl because she will often do um, the sound that you are out there in the woods. You hear, who cooks for you? <laughs> who cooks for you all? So it kind of sounds like this. <laughs> I got that a lot in yeah. my backyard. They, they're very common in this area. Down in New Concord. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. definitely. That that yeah. bottom land area that you have, like in New Concord, there's definitely some places that you're gonna mm -hmm. you're gonna have these guys. Bring lunch today. <laughs> Sometimes he brings his mouth. This guy eats about 30 grams. This is our smallest owl that we have here, and um, he weighs about as much as a McDonald's hamburger, <laughs> quarter pounder. Yeah. One of the things about him. And a lot of questions that a lot of people ask is, can an owl turn their head all the way around? What do you guys think? No. no that's right. And they snap their neck. They would snap their neck. They don't have that kind of capability. They do have more bones in their neck than mammals do. Uh, and that gives all birds a little bit more flexibility than, than we would ever. We can turn our head about halfway. Most birds can turn their heads about But This is true of all birds. You just happen to notice it more with the owls like him. Well, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring him up here <laughs> so you guys can look at him. And I want you to feel his keel too. So you can kind of get a comparison of owls and hawk. Nice thing is you guys came at noon. We don't usually let customers touch them. <laughs> but this is, like I said, a small owl. So his keel, while I do his little dance. <laughs> His keel is just right there. If birds of prey, which are predators, are in the same area, you get the male and the female taking care of the young, well, you have a better success rate if one of them is smaller than the other. Because the smaller one can catch smaller prey, and the larger one can catch larger prey. So if they're there's not a, competing. They're not competing as much, exactly. Right? You're big and bad. You know. Let me go. Well, this is the largest, and wow. this is pretty typical. If you ever work with a great horned owl in, in a program situation or in a rehab facility, they're going to just be disgruntled. That's just their nature. They're just not a happy bird. <laughs> and these guys, that's because they are a top predator. Actually, they're one of our top predators here in between lakes.